So I was cuddling with Zelda on the couch and I was petting her head and I noticed this little guy sticking out from the top of her head right beside her left ear. I just removed him using tweezers. He's flailing about. Um, you can buy tick like removal tools from pet stores. Um, I just use tweezers. It's highly recommended to use a tick removal tool though because you're supposed to twist them like this. You pinch and twist and lift them up because you want to take the head out as well. Otherwise the head can break off and bury under the skin. They sort of burrow the head under and can cause infection. But I got the head out. It's a lively little dude. Got him sitting upside down right now because I don't want him to scurry away. He's just kind of flailing on this piece of paper. So this is fair warning <laughs> to all pet owners. I thoroughly check the dogs after I take them on trail walks um, for ticks. And they are on tick and like flea preventative medication, but this still happened. And I missed this one after the last trail walk we did, which was recently, which is where I suspect this came from, because he's not that big. Like, he's not super engorged with blood. It's a little big, but... Um, yeah, I, uh, I always check them, and it's the tweezers for frame of reference. That's how big he is. I always trying to hang on to the tweezers. Um, and I still miss this guy, so make sure you check your pups after walks on trails. Now, ticks can carry Lyme disease, as I'm sure most of you know. Both of the dogs are vaccinated for Lyme disease. I'm not too worried about that. It's only the deer tick, I think. That can carry Lyme disease though. I'm not really sure what kind this guy is. Got a little black cape there. Little pincer that he used to pierce my pup up. Now I've always been taught that you're supposed to squish these buggers when you find them. Oh, where do you? Because they, um, they're like cockroaches, they'll just live. Ugh. Oh, yeah, and that's... <laughs> that's all the blood that he drank from my puppy. You're mean. It's all of Zelda's blood. Zelda doesn't really care. She's completely indifferent. That's <laughs> all the blood he sucked from her. So rude. The enemy has been defeated. All that brown, gross stuff is digested blood that he ate. Sorry for the picture of the underwear. This was junk mail about cervical cancer screening. I'm gonna flush him down the toilet. Do you feel better now that there's not a tick in your head? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me? It's kinda dark in the hall because she's like hiding, but. I don't know. Red dot is the site where he was. He's Zelda. Good girl. You're such a brave girl. Yeah. I thoroughly checked her for more, and I didn't find any others. Link doesn't have any either. Um, it'd be more obvious on him, I think, because he's got such short fur, and I haven't seen any. So um, yeah, thoroughly check your dogs after trail walks, because ticks happen. Thank you.